In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use a keyboard as a controller on PC. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. Emulating a controller using your keyboard is possible. For this video, I'm gonna showcase this tool made by DJ Last Night, available on GitHub. So all that you have to do is you is look for Keyboard Splitter Xbox, or more specifically, DJ Last Night's Gaming Keyboard Splitter. As the name suggests, what this is going to do is allow you to make certain buttons on your keyboard, act and emulate a controller. A lot of people like to use this because Game Pass on PC might require you to use a controller for certain games. Also on cloud gaming, for example, Fortnite requires a controller. So, with those examples out of the way and the overall explanation, all that you have to do is visit this GitHub page and then download the latest release of the tool at the right side of the screen. So, as you saw, go over to Releases and then download the zip file for Keyboard Splitter. You will be able to run this and after you run this file, you will be able to run the exe listed here, just extract it somewhere. Inside of the actual tool, all that you have to do is choose the amounts of slots that you want to have or more specifically the amount of emulated controllers that are going to be acting at the same time. You will be able to have up to four controllers being emulated. So if you have four people on the same keyboard, theoretically, it would be possible to assign a controller to each of you. With that info out of the way, just select the amount and you will be able to change each individual keybind as you can see at the left side of the screen. Once you have the keyboard selected, the mouse selected, and all the buttons properly assigned, all that you have to do is choose Start. As soon as you choose Start, you are going to see this message telling you that the emulation has started. You can then go over to any game, or for example, cloud gaming, and your controller, aka your keyboard, should get detected as an actual controller being emulated allowing you to play anything that requires a controller. If you encounter any problems while trying to do this, make sure that you visit the Drivers tab and you double check to see if all the drivers were properly installed. For the most part, this process is done automatically as soon as you run the tool, so you shouldn't have any issues while trying to use the keyboard splitter. But if you need to, you will have to update your drivers before your keyboard mouse get detected properly and you are able to split them. I hope I was able to help you on how to use keyboard as a controller on PC. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.